This is Eric from tablet-crunch.blogspot.com. I put up a video a few days ago giving a quick review of the LG Optimus T uh, running on Win Mobile in Canada, Vancouver, and I showed it running the um, Optimus One ROM and overclocked 806 megahertz, and giving you guys an idea of the performance. And I had a lot of people interested in in how to do this themselves. So uh, I I had done a fairly lengthy blog post. Um, on my blog explaining how to do that and giving links to the appropriate forms and everything but uh, a lot of people wanted to, to see, a, see a video as a supplement to that blog post so this video is designed to go along with my blog post and um, I'm not going to do all the steps in my blog post since I've actually done this with my phone but I'm going to try and show you the, the tricky parts that you, you might be confused by. So the first step is to download um, a program called Z4 Root and it's not on the market anymore, so you have to get it off of the link that I provide. Um, it's on the XDA developers forum. So you download that APK file and you transfer it over to your phone. So basically you take your USB cable and you plug it into your phone. And it'll say USB connected. Click on turn USB storage. And then what that will do is it'll link the phone to your computer so you can look at the SD card from your computer. And when that comes up, what we can do is open it up and transfer the files over. So, for instance, I've got some files we're going to need on my desktop here. Um, basically what you need to know is that you need to transfer that file over. And then you need an APK manager. And what an APK manager does is it just lets you install APK files from your SD card that you've uh, downloaded from other sources. So um, I have a couple installed on my uh, on my phone here, which is okay. It's kind of spazzing out here. So I just have one called APK Manager here. And uh, you'll just scroll down and uh, find the program. For instance, here's Z for root. You just click on it, and it'll it'll allow you to go through and install. And as you can see here, I have it already already installed. So uh, it's uh, it's not going to let me install it again, obviously. But anyways, so you download the APK file, you put it onto your SD card, you open the APK manager, you install the program, and then it should be ready to go and then you can go ahead and you can run the Z for root program and as you can see here it's saying for me to either reroute or unroot because I've already rooted but there will be two buttons for you if you haven't rooted before and one of them will say permanent root so you just click it and then your phone should restart and then you'll be rooted so it's very simple and then once you're rooted you're ready to do the next step so Got step three done. Now the next step is to install a custom recovery file. So you want to go to the link I provided to the XDA developers form and get all the files necessary there. Now the one confusing thing here on that uh, on that form here, here's the form, is um, first of all entering the codes obviously a little bit confusing, but the main thing that I need to point out at first is you you want to download the custom recovery file, but also the attached flash underscore image file. So you need this flash image file, extract the zip, put the image file onto your SD card, and also take this. And unlike the other things you're going to do, you actually extract this zip and you put the image file onto your SD card. And then once you've done that, you need to download a terminal emulator program from the Android market. I got one that's just called terminal emulator. Here's this terminal emulator there. And basically, this is going to act as a, a terminal or kind of like the command prompt in a in a in a Windows um, in a Windows computer. So the first thing you need to do here, which isn't really clarified very well, I found in the walkthroughs, is as you, I don't know if you can see this. If this will focus on the top corner here, there's a a little money sign, anyways, that pops up right before the text input, and you want it to be. 
pound sign. So what you do is you type SU and then enter. The text is extremely small, you probably can't read that. But I just typed SU and press enter. And now the money sign turned to a pound sign. So now you're ready to go ahead and enter all those command inputs that it shows on the, on the website here, on the form that I linked to. So here, here are the commands, and you'll notice that it has the pound sign at the beginning. So don't actually type in this pound sign. That's just to indicate that you're in the root directory. So you want to type in all the commands afterwards, all the stuff. Type this first one in, press enter. Type the next one in, press enter. Go through these sequentially. And the one thing you'll notice is that this middle one here, for the install-recovery.sh.back file, this one won't work, most likely, depending on what version of the, of the operating system your phone comes with. It'll say that it can't find the file or something to that effect. Um, if you look down further in this form, you'll find people asking about that. That's fine, just ignore that, that's normal. And then you go through the rest of the commands, typing them into the, into the terminal emulator on your phone. And um, once you get through that, you, uh, your phone should restart. And then what you can do is you can reboot into recovery mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn, power up my phone here. And um, in order to boot into recovery, you hold down the top power button, the volume down button, and the home button all at the same time when your phone's off. And then it will boot into recovery. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Um, maybe not. Let's try this here. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down these three keys and keep holding them down. Hold them down while the LG logo's on. Okay, so that didn't work. Apparently doing it with one hand isn't so effective. 